Keep watching Charis TV. Let me start. Let me start by praying. Come, mama. Come on. Just, uh, there's something moving in your stomach. Huh? It's true. Huh? Sometimes you feel like you want to give birth. It's true. Huh? It's true. Come on, you demon! Bring her here. Bring her here. Oh, you demon! I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Makaranesa. With me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Stella Maipa from Ivory Park. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simono located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said when he spoke to you and please confirm it. Oh, the Prophet prophesied to me about the, the problem that I'm having on my womb because usually I would have cramps, I would have, sometimes I would feel like um, I want to give birth or something like that. So he prophesied to me and what he said, it was true. And how long have you been experiencing this and how has it affected you? As, as been, it's been a while, I would say. It's been a while since I had this problem, but the way, the way that it affected me, it, it affected me badly because of sometimes you would feel sick, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go to. And I've been to Gainas, but it seemed like there's, there's nothing. But when you, you, you get home, you find that the, you're having problems. Yeah, that's how it affected me. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life and even declared deliverance? I'm so happy and I'm so grateful and I thank God for that because only God can do it for you. Amen. Thank you. We are done. You want to move from Captain Park? Yes. No? Yes. You want to move? Yes. Mm, because I heard this is your prayer. You know, you've been praying for a, a better place. God bless you. God bless you. Ma'am, Ma kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Naimam Chow. I currently live in Kempton Park. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. Um, he spoke about me wanting to move from Kempton Park to another place. And I confirm that it's true. It's something that I've been asking God for a while. Like it's been a while. So I'm happy to hear that God has heard that I want to relocate. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. And how do you feel that today you are located regarding something that you've been praying for for so long? Happy. I, I just feel like God noticed even though it seemed like something small, something minor. But it's actually recorded even before God. So it's a big deal. I'm very happy. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this and they are trusting in God for a new house? Um, I would just tell them that it's best because before I moved into this house, I never really, I bought it, but I didn't really confirm with God um, if that was the right place for me to stay. And there were battles in that house. <laughs> like, yeah, so I think as much as people think it's just a decision that you make, I think it's very important to consult God because people believe different things. They do different things in those homes that we buy. And it's better to first consult with God before you, you know, buy a pr property. Yeah. Thank you. Why is your mom sending money from home, bringing it here? My mom? Mm. Oh, it's not because I'm not working. Huh? I'm not working. Yes, yes, that's what I'm telling you. Yes. Why your mom is bringing money from home and is coming here? Yes. That time will be finished soon. Amen. 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 You know, I'm telling you. Amen. You you already have a job. Amen. Thank you. 
you. God bless you. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Deboko. I'm currently staying in Win Mandela. Today during the service, the man of God located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, he said, why do I see your mom sending money this side? And I said, uh, it's because I'm not working. Then he said, uh, me, it, it's over. I'll get a job. So he said, I'm as in worry. Yes. And how long have you been trusting in God for a job? Uh, it's been a while now. Uh, it's really been long. But I thank God this day has come. Yes. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life? Uh, I feel very, I'm, I'm happy. Because, you know, once the prophet releases a word, I know it will not fail. Yes, so I thank God. You must pray against the spirit of lust. Yeah. You hear me? Yes, yes. It's make you to suffer. Yeah, yeah, I know. In Jesus' name. Because I see sometimes you are holding yourself. You used to do that. Yeah, no, I know. Huh? Yes, so know. God, God loves you. This is spirit that is making you to fail to prosper. Yeah, thank you, man. But God loves you, you're free. Stand up. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Manuel Rahakule. I come from Tuzanini. Today during the service, Prophet Andrew Simon located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, I confess it is true. It's true because the man of God he told me about the spiritual, uh, the spiritual, the spirit of lust, which which is true. Which is true. Every day I'm always dreaming about uh, spiritual wives sleeping with the uh, different faces. You see, even yesterday I was told, I was telling my wife that uh, that uh, I had a dream. Every day I explain this dream, like you see. How long have you been experiencing this and how has it affected you? It affects me a lot because even when I get a job, I can work for maybe for three months. You know, it's, it affects me a lot because uh, it affects me a lot. No, it's delaying me all, all the time. I think it was about 15 years now. 15 years I've been experiencing this spirit. You see, I'm talking about yesterday. I had a dream yesterday. I even tell my wife, I said, hey, this is a big challenge to me. And when uh, those spirits visit me in the dreams, I feel weak every day. When I wake up, it's like I was working a, a heavy job, you see. Mm. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life and declared deliverance? I think the man of God, when he, when he speaks, something will come to yeah i think something will come because i believe in men of god they can't just speak a word without uh, you see i believe that i will get healed everything will be free yeah and i'm so i'm very very happy when the man of god speaks to me because it's been long i've been expecting a man of god to speak to me one of the day you see now now today i'm very very happy I, yeah so I think I can even tell those people who are outside there, they must stop to delay themselves and come to the church because here there is God. There's a business your father is trying to do. Yes, that's true. Huh? Yes, sir. There's yes, a sir. business your father is trying to do, uh, but I, I wish your father can believe more in God. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, if if you can do that, God will open doors for him. Okay, you know, he's trying different things. Nothing is moving. That's true. So, but I believe after this prayer, things will work out. Amen. In Jesus' name. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Kanya Buikanyo, and I'm from Johannesburg South, Okti. Today during the service, Prophet Andrew Simona located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said when he ministered upon your life and please confirm it. Um, he spoke about my dad having a lot of plans to start a business, but they've been failing a lot. So he was just saying that he wished that my dad would believe in God a lot more um, and hopefully those businesses would prosper. I confirm that to be true because my dad has been trying to start a business for the longest of time. They just, they just don't pan out every time. So yeah, I confirm it to be true. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding your father? 
it's very exciting. I mean, it gives you hope to say that, you know, maybe God has remembered us this time. Yeah, so hopefully if he tries again, or God is going to open a door for him to actually make it this time. Amen. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? Um, believe in God. Believe in God. If the people around you, or if your family members, or, you know, the people that you care about, your loved ones, they don't believe in God as much as you do, just stand in the gap and have faith on their behalf and something will happen for you. Thank you. You know, the, 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 look here, look here. You know they want you to be a Sangoma? Yes. You know that? Yes, but my grandmother passed on last week. Your grandmother passed on last week? Yes, the one It's who your time Sangoma. to take over. No, I don't want to. I can't be a Sangoma. You know, I'm telling you something that, you can you hear what, did you hear what I said? It's your time to do what? Yes. To take over. You know? Because the grandmother died now. Now, now it's your turn now. To start saying. <laughs> you will be the one to break this altar. Amen. You hear me? Amen. You will be the one to. Because these spirits are making people to suffer. All of you. Amen. You, you'll break this altar. This one. You know, I, I break it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Watch, watch. Hey. You, you'll break the heart of Satan. Yeah. What do you pray for?